hey guys, your calculator is a really, really important, valuable thing. And it is important that you learn how to use it properly so that you can do it properly in the exam. Now today we're gonna to talk about a tiny, tiny little thing called a rounding error. This is when you're doing a multi-step calculation and you round too early. So if you kind of like, you know, work out a number in step one, which you then need to use in step four, and you round it to two decimal places, write the answer down, and then you use your two decimal place answer in step four, you will have introduced a rounding error because the number you're using in step four isn't as accurate as the actual answer you got in step one. What you need to do is to store all of your answers in your calculator's memory. So please make sure you know how to do that for your particular calculator. And then use the actual answers that you've got in your um, working, in your answer. Uh, especially for science and maths, the examiners know that you do this, or that you make this mistake on a regular basis. So they try and pop this mistake or they try and pop this somewhere in each of the exams and that's exactly what I've done when I've written predictive papers for science. In all of those predictive papers somewhere there is a rounding error and we don't know which paper it's going to turn up on in the actual exam. This is the sort of thing they love to put in there to make sure that you're doing things correctly. So please do not introduce rounding errors, do not round things um, too early, use the actual number for full calculator display. 